Hi guys, so in the previous video we have seen types of operating systems. Now in this particular video, let's just understand what is a process control block. Now, so before going into the process control block, I think you remember I've told you uh, in the introduction of operating system, like what is process, right? I uh, asked you to imagine the process as a program which is being in the execution, right? So the same thing here as well. Now what is process control block? Process control block is a data structure. It is a data structure. Data structure means having different kind of elements together, right? Or having different elements together, right? Data structure that contains the information of the process. So whatever the process is doing, everything related to the process generally presents in process control block. Now, how do we represent a process control block? Process control block is generally represented in this a huge block, right? So the first thing is process state. Now what does process state means here? Process state generally means the current activity of process. Right? Whatever the process is doing, whether it has started executing, whether it's finished or not. So everything is mentioned in process state. Now, process number, process number, uh, imagine you are a student, you will have a role number, you will have a registration number. If you are an employee, you will have an employee ID. So process number is kind of a ID, right? Now process counter, process counter gives us the address of next line which is to be executed, right? Whatever the, right, uh, whatever the next line which needs to be executed, it will give the address of that particular line. Now, after that, we have registers. Registers means a process generally uses so many registers. Uh, it might be accumulators, you know, uh, for indexing, whatever thing, whatever the purpose it is using, it will, it will use so many kinds of registers. So what kind of register is being used? It's also mentioned. Now, memory limits. We can say that the same memory management thing, it will have a track where what is its memory, what is its storage, like how much memory this particular process will take. List of open, uh, open files wherever the process is present in the operating system or in the secondary memory or main memory. Right? Other than that, there are some additional things. Right? Uh, there are some additional things which are present here. So that is CPU scheduling information. CPU scheduling, I think you remember CPU scheduling, we have learned that there are some scheduling algorithms in which all the processes are sent into the CPU by some priority based algorithms. So there might be some priority. So that priority is actually decided by the CPU scheduling information, which is also present in the PCB, process control block. Memory management information, I told you, we've discussed that OS actually has, a, you know, maintains a track of memory availability, memory, all of the memory. So whether the process has been executed, whether the process is running or in the execution, everything will, uh, will be present in this memory management information. So it is very easy for OS to go and identify whether the memory is available or not. Now, input output device status information, if there are any operations regarding input and output are present, then it will be there or else, you know, accounting information is again the same. What is happening, what kind of things the process done, where it is present, everything will be present and there will be a location of the process as well, you know, everything will be present in the PCB. So this is all about PCB. In other than that, we're gonna uh, we're gonna learn process state and all. You can simply say that process uh, control block is an I card of process, right? As we have all our ID proofs, so process control block is an ID proof of the process, right? That's uh, that's it for the particular video where we have understood what is process control block. Now we'll see what are process states, etc., etc., in the other videos. I hope you understood. Thank you.